Hey guys, Satchado here. Welcome to another video. Today we're going to be starting a Delta Room playthrough because as much as I've played Undertale quite a lot of times now, I don't actually know that much about Delta Room. Obviously, I want to be in on the ongoing hype of like when the next chapter is going to be released and all the teasers and stuff. So today we're going to be nailing that. What did he say? Huh? That's not the language I really want to use, but there you go. And we're going to be starting a Delta Room playthrough. Just before I get started, I wanted to say I have been really, really absent. I've not been making much content. I do apologise. I've wanted to for quite a while. It's just that life has got in the way. So yeah, I really, really apologise for that. But we're trying to get into a bit more of a regular rhythm now, which brings me on to my next point. If you'd like to see more of this content, liking, subscribing, pressing the bell button, leaving a comment, whatever it is, it just helps my content to go a little bit further, to reach new eyes, to get seen by the algorithm and things like that so if you do enjoy this content please 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 consider doing all of those things it really really helps me out thank you for being patient while you wait for me to get going with this again let's get into this brand new delta rune let's play are you there are we connected Oh, it's the little, the, it's the soul. Excellent. Truly excellent. That sounds very menacing. <laughs> now, we may begin. Ooh. First, you must create a vessel. Select the head that you prefer. So, do you actually get to make your character in this game? Let's go for this one. Select the torso that you prefer. I mean, there's not a great deal of difference between all of them, but I appreciate the choice. Select the legs that you prefer. I mean, <laughs> they're barely different, but let's go with those ones. This is your body. Do you accept it? Yeah, I do. Excellent. You have created a wonderful form. Now, let us shape its mind as your own. Okay, this is like freaking creatism or something. What is its favorite food? Sweet, soft, sour, salty, pain or cold? I like to eat pain for breakfast. Um, let's go for... Do these... Just to interrupt my own thought there, do these actually have an impact on anything? I guess we'll soon find out. Sour. Your favorite blood type? <laughs> A, A, B. B, C, D. I'm not sure all of those are real. <laughs> Let's go for D, the type that just clearly doesn't exist. What colour does it like most? Red, blue, green, cyan. Let's go for red. Please give it a gift. Ooh. Kindness, mind, ambition, bravery, voice. I'm already very curious about if any of these options change anything, because I know Toby Fox and I know that the secret's hidden behind it, absolutely everything, and uh, I'm already curious about that, to be honest. Kindness. How do you feel about your creation? It will not hear. Love, hope, dis disgust, or fear? Love. We love our little person. Have you answered honestly? Yes. You acknowledge the possibility of pain and seizure. No, I don't, actually. Understood. Name your vessel. Shadow, I guess. We called it Shadow. And what about the creator? Oh, okay. So I named myself as well. I'm drinking um, Aussie Lemonade Monster today. And it's really, really good. Uh, well, I'll call myself Bex then. See what happens there. Okay. Bex. Excellent. Truly excellent. So menacing. It sounds so scary. Bex, thank you for your time, your answers, your wonderful creation will now be discarded. <laughs> no one could choose who they are in this world. Your name is 
Well, screw that. I don't accept that sh**. Chris. Chris, if you do not wake up, we'll be late for school. It's Torio. Well, the immediate vibes that this gives me is... After the end of pacif the pacifist run, Undertale, where they all go to the surface again and Toriel like opens a school. I'll wait outside for you, alright? That's that's me when I get out of bed in the morning. Just <laughs> let's get this over with then. What the frick is that? You can't really see because my head's in the way, but is it blood? It's stained. What is this? It's a red wagon with a rusty bed cage in it. Looks like it's seen quite a few crashes. Okay. Your bed. Can I not go back? Let me back in. <laughs> I don't want to wake up. Close draw. It's a beautiful day outside. The drawer is mostly empty except for a school cross-country shirt with a tear in it. Cross-country is a crime against humanity. Honestly, nothing useful in there. CDs under the bed. Classical jazz religious scar. <laughs> There's also a game console. It has one normal controller and one knockoff one. It's a computer desk. There are many boxes under it filled with old books. Okay. There are many books. Tales of Snails, a storybook. Snails do not have tails, a scientific refutation. Can snails help your garden? Um, not really. And a signed copy of The History of Humans and Monsters by Gerson Boom. Lots of books about snails, a disproportionate amount. There are crayons in the drawer, their labels have long faded and there's no green. Interesting. Is that symbolic? Does that mean something? It's only you. Well, I was expecting something a little bit more profound because looking in the mirror is a sort of important concept in this game in a lot of ways, isn't it? The door is locked. What's in here? Oh, it's a bathroom. On the shower ledge, there's a small container of apple-scented shampoo. And a gallon-sized container of pet shampoo. <laughs> is that for Toriel? <laughs> she, is, she is the goat mama. You looked inside the sink cupboard. There's a can of Icy's Cool Boys Body Spray. Spray for the boys. Flaming hot pizza flavour. <laughs> a hot pizza flavoured body spray. Mmm. That's the way to get the girls. Going out smelling like cheese. Seems to be almost entirely full. I mean, yeah, who's using that around here? Am I using it? Is Toriel using it? Can I go to the toilet? It's a toilet. Flush it. Yes. You flushed the toilet. I'm doing amazingly already. Flush it again. Let's do it. I'm just going to keep doing it. You flushed the toilet. Oh. <laughs> Chris, is everything all right in there? Toriel just thinks I'm absolutely fighting for my life. <laughs> If there's one thing I've learned about Turby Fox games, is that you have to keep pushing the limit. You have to keep pushing and pushing and doing something over and over again until you get the full, like, results. So I'm gonna flush it a few more times, just bear with me. I wanna see if there's more dialogue, but I've got a video about this where, like, if you wait for Toriel in the opening to Undertale, you get loads of different dialogue that you just don't see if you don't wait. Which a lot of people can't bother to do, but I love that stuff, so let's do it again. Oh, this is different. Chris, what are you doing? You did not put a bath bomb in the toilet again, did you? I can't comment. Chris, if anything bad happens, you are paying for the plumbing bill. <laughs> anything else for me, Toriel? Okay, it looks like that's it. Oh, this is a quaint little home, isn't it? Lovely. There's a photo on the fridge. It's of you, your mother, and your brother. Is that Toriel then? Toriel and Asriel? Who actually is Chris? 
the impression that I get, it looks exactly like the sort of life you'd expect on the surface after the end of the pacifist run. You know, but that might not that might not be the case. Though it shares some narrative elements with Undertale, including alternate versions of characters from Undertale and the fact that Deltarune is an anagram of Undertale, it takes place in a different setting according to the wiki page. So I guess that is my answer. Is that just it is just an alternative setting? Is there in a fuck about the game, Fox implied that there may be a maybe direct connections between the two worlds. But I'm wondering if like the parallels between the post pacifist and this are intentional. Cookie cutters for gingerbread monsters and gingerbread humans. Bin. It's a trash can. Somehow it's emitting a pleasant floral scent. Let's face it, nothing in Toriel's home could be disgusting because she's just too sweet. It's a landline phone, but you already have a cell phone. It's Cheriel, the beloved living room chair. Cheriel. <laughs> Cheriel. Okay. What's this book? It's a book of hymns. Okay. Like the soul of, a, of the TV. That's interesting. Does this chair not have a name? That's sad. It's the TV. Doesn't seem to even be plugged in anymore. I can't imagine that Toriel is the sort that watches lots of TV, to be honest. Well, I assume Toriel's already outside of the house. Yep. Chris, there you are. We might still be able to make it. There's the soul on the front door as well. Chris, it is a beautiful day today, is it not? I hope it stays this way when Azriel visits next week. But I wonder, after the excitement of university, will he still enjoy coming home to this little town? Oh, it's, it's Catty and Ratty. Undyne. That's so cute. It is the surface. It must be. And that's the exact school that I swear Toriel set up in the pacifist. Well, that was very cute. Loved all the cameos from the other characters in Undertale. Aww. She's such a good mama. We're off to school. We don't get any choice in the matter. Oh, it's Alvis. Sir, does everyone have a... Oh, Chris. We thought you weren't coming today. We're doing group projects this month. Uh, so walk around and find a partner, okay? Has anybody ever actually enjoyed group work, ever? Who do we want to partner with? Let's just have a little look first. You checked the time. Seems to be time for class. I call bull. The computer's wallpaper is a rotating slideshow of nature images. And, rarely, an image of two buff superheroes embracing, blushing. <laughs> what? W what am I watching on my phone? It's uh, schoolwork, of course. Uh, an animated schoolwork. A and, hey, Chris, have you chosen a partner yet? I know your dirty little secrets, Alphys. Behind that innocent, nerdy exterior. So I, I'm not saying anything. Not saying anything. Hi. Hey, Chris, what's up? Did you lose your pencil again? Here, you want the candy cane one or the one with the lights on it? Everybody had one of these people in the class. To be fair, I think I might have been that person. You want to be partners? Um, sorry. Birdly already asked me. But I could ask Miss Alphys if we could make a group of three. I'll ask if you're sure. Let's, let's see if there's anybody else. Yeah, I'm sure there's someone else you can ask. Ah, Chris. Late again, I see. Hmm? You need a partner? Sorry, I'm already partners with the second smartest student. The... Wait, Chris, now that I think about it, your unique skill set might help a lot on this assignment. <laughs> Not. I actually want to get an A. Look at that smug fella's face. Crisp! Oh, uh, there says. Tim already have partner. What is that? <laughs> is that an egg? Tim partner with egg. <laughs> it's good to know that an egg is better than me. Everything's fine. <laughs> this game is so weird. <laughs> Hi, how about you? Taken. Grace, you know Jockington and Katia are always par partners. We're the ultimate academic duo ever since our first gym class. It was hula hoop day and they ran out of hoops for us. 
So she used me instead. That's our origin story. <laughs> we seem different, but me and Catty have a ton in common. We both like breathing and unhinging our jaws. <laughs> this game is absolutely nuts. But that's why I love it so much. Is that the monster kid from, from Undertale? Yo, Chris, show up earlier next time. I ended up having to partner with Snowy. Haha, <laughs> Snowy! Now he keeps turning to me and saying, howdy, partner, <laughs> like a cowboy. Yo, Chris, you're lucky. I'd rather be partner partnerless than this. <laughs> well, that's not very nice. Partner? I hardly know her. <laughs> what do you think of that one? Funny, right? No? Well, I got news for you, pal. I already got a partner. Scram. Well, it's good to know that you're alive and well, Snowy. After I think I murdered you in Undertale, did I not? Whoops. If you can't get anyone, maybe your mom will be a partner again. <laughs> what a dick. Don't worry, Mew Mew. You'll always be my partner. <laughs> Do you want to be partners? Yes. Okay, I'll ask. Miss Alphys, um, is it okay if we have a group of three? Hey, what? No, I do not approve this. A bot. What? But Chris doesn't have a... Noelle, what were you saying? She was just saying we're fine being alone. Actually, I just wanted to know if... Noelle, can you please speak up? Hi, Susie. Am I lit? Oh, no, you're fine. We, we, we were just, uh... Choosing partners for the next group project, and, um, S Susie, uh, you're with Chris. Great. Now that everyone's here, I'll write the assignment. Uh, h h has anyone seen the chalk? This is the third time it's gone missing, and... You all know I can't start class without some. How about this? If no one speaks up, ev everyone gets in trouble. <laughs> she has as much authority as a lettuce leaf. Uh, anyone? Please? Hey, there might be a box in the supply closet. Miss Alphys, why don't Susie and I... Good idea, Noelle. Susie, s s since you came in last... Why don't you go get it for me? Whatever. Susie's such a mood. <laughs> and C Chris, can you go with her and make sure she um actually gets it and um stays out of trouble? Thanks, Chris. See you later. Ralph is just delegating the worst jobs <laughs> to Chris. <laughs> Wait, is she eating the chalk? Did you just eat the chalk? Chris? Didn't see you there. Hey. You didn't see anything just now, did you? Hmm. You can't even say? Hey, let me tell you a secret. Quiet people piss me off. You think just because you don't say anything. I can't tell exactly what you're thinking. It's over. I caught Susie eating all the chalk. This was her last chance. Now she'll finally be expelled. <laughs> Come on, Chris. Don't act shocked. You know it's true. Everyone's waiting for it. Everyone wants it. So congrats, Chris. You got me. I'm done for. Just... Let me say one little thing. Seems like a waste to get expelled just for having a snack. So Chris, if I know you're going to pull the trigger... <laughs> what? 
Why don't I just get expelled for some real carnage? Chris, how do you feel about losing your face? That artwork is absolutely terrible. <laughs> it's nightmare worthy. She gonna eat me? No. Chris, you've got a good mother. It'd be a shame to make her bury a child. I mean, all right, let's get this over with. We'll get more chalk, mosey back to class, and then Chris, you'll do our projects. How's that sound? Don't bother answering. <laughs> If you haven't gotten it by now, your choices don't matter. Ah, okay. That's a little loop back to the uh, intro, isn't it? Let's go. Freak. I wonder if you can actually answer that quickly enough. Can you actually press quickly enough on those options? Okay, let's go then. The locker is locked. The locker's lock is locked. The lock's locker is locked. <laughs> the locker's lock's locker is locked. The locker is covered in Jockington memorabilia. <laughs> Are you ready for the Sadie Hawkman's dance? At this dance, all the chaperones wear giant hawk heads and screech any students that make contact while dancing. <laughs> can I can I leave school? Chris, you're just going to skip school? What, am I supposed to snitch on you? That would be rich, huh? No, I wouldn't. Get back here. Screw you. Chris? What? Realised the baby costume was a better fit for you? Hey, actually, I should come with you. Maybe I'll find a better partner in there. No, actually, let's not. You're such a cow, Susie. Fine, here I am. God, can you walk any slower or what? No, I get it. Not used to walking around without someone holding your hand. Come on, freak. He also victimised. Well, here's the closet. Too bad. We were just starting to have fun. Looks like the door's in Narnia. Ooh. It's spoopy. And Susie's really not so tough. Hey, Chris, is it me or is it really dark in there? What's well, so hold up, Chris? You gonna go in or what? Why don't you go in, tough girl? Fine, if you're gonna be a wimp, then I'll... We'll both go in at the same time. See? Why are you so scared? There's nothing in here but old papers. Let's try to find a light switch. That's weird. I can't find a switch. Guess it's further in. How long is this freaking cupboard, dude? <laughs> it is Narnia. <laughs> uh, kind of big for a closet, huh? You'd think we'd have reached the end by now. Hey, Chris. I think this closet's, uh, broken. <laughs> there aren't any walls. Well, we've worked hard enough. If Alphys wants chalk so bad, she can get it herself. Let's split. Oh no, you don't. What, what? What the? Hey, this isn't funny. Let us out. Let us. The the floor. It's. No. Crash. So does this mean Deltarune is basically Nani? Ooh, nice echo. That's very satisfying, that echo. Ooh. At times, you see it flickering. The light only you can see. By second nature, you reach out and... Save. Where the heck are we? Eerie music. Love it. What is that? Huh? 
Okay, well, as long as you're not going to hurt me, that's fine. To me, or does that look, look like a face? It's too dark to see anything. We. What is that? It's like a sleeping cloud. Too dark to see anything. Yeah, I get it. There's nothing for me. Ooh. Am I going to be rewarded for my curiosity finally? There's something glowing inside. Take it? Yes. You got the glow shard. A shimmering shard, its use is unknown. That one's red. Oh! Okay. You're not- you're not friendly. Oh, we can- we can run. We can zoom about. You bathed your body in the lights. A power shines within you, breaking through the darkness. Any pain you may have had melted away. HP fully restored. Okay. In this land, only eyes blinded by darkness can see the way. Okay. It's a little puzzle. Eyes blinded by darkness can see the way. So. Easy dubs. Let's go. We. Oh, hi. Did I kill it? Something just moved then. Something moved again. Although I'm not sure you can see it. I think my face is covering it, but something moved. Well, I might as well kill all of these given that I've already killed like all of them. Oh, it's Susie. Hey, but back off. Come any closer now. Cr Chris. Phew. Hey, don't scare me like that, dumbass. Unless you want to get clocked in the face. <laughs> anyway, enough screwing around. We're gonna find a way out of here. Yeah, the boss. Um, where is here, anyway? Good question. Doesn't matter. You got us into this mess. You get us out. Excuse me, that is not true. Not so tough now, are you, Susie? Beesh. Oh my god, never mind. You walk way too slow. <laughs> I understand that. I can't I can't stand walking slowly. <laughs> it really pisses me off. Can I go down here? Or not? Oh, there we go. Hey, Chris, there's someone up there waving at us. Any idea what they want? Wow. Okay, that's not too nice. Run, Chris. Ah! Damn it, I got hit by one of them. Chris, down here! Okay, I was not expecting that little change. Thought I was just safe, but you know. Are you ever safe in these games? Oh, this is stressful! <laughs> Put me out of my misery, please. Thank you. Ooh. Some kind of purple place. This is pretty. Oh, you're not dead. Sweet. Got any idea what the heck this place is? Me neither. Wonder if there's anyone in that building up there. Look at this. Is there anyone in these houses? Looks like a shop, but the door is locked and no one's inside. It's locked. They all have like symbols on them, don't they? In weapon shop shop question mark in front of you a castle looms beneath the empty town a black geyser emerges from it piercing endlessly into the sky the power of this place shines within you castle town Ooh. a castle why the hell is there a castle inside a supply closet? Welcome, heroes. Who's there? Do not be alarmed. I am not your enemy. Please come forward. Both of you. Mysterious hooded figure. Welcome. I am the prince of this kingdom. The kingdom of darkness. 
Chris, Susie, there is a legend in this land. A legend that one day two heroes of light will arrive and fulfil the ancient prophecy foretold by time and space. Please, heroes, listen to my tale. Sure. Very well, then. Once upon a time, a legend was whispered among shadows. It was a legend of hope, it was a legend of dreams. It was a legend of light, it was a legend of dark. This is the legend of Deltarune. For millennia, light and dark have lived in balance, bringing peace to the world. But if this harmony were to shatter, a terrible calamity would occur. The sky will run black with terror, and the land will crack with fear. Then, her heart pounding, the earth will draw her final breath. Only then, shining with her, three heroes appear at world's edge. A human, a monster, and a prince from the dark. Only they can seal the fountains and banish the angels' heaven. Only then will balance be restored and the world saved from destruction. Today the fountain of darkness the geyser that gives this land form stands tall at the centre of the kingdom. But recently, another fountain has appeared on the horizon. And with it, the balance of light and dark begins to shift. That music was absolutely amazing. I mean, the music's always amazing in these games, isn't it? Chris, Susie, thank you for listening to my long tale. I deeply believe you two are the heroes of the legend. That despite whatever enemies you may face, you two have the courage to save the world. Delta Warriors, please, won't you accept your destiny? Susie's like, Uh, nah. <laughs> what? Me? Some kind of hero or something? You've got the wrong person. But, but Susie, without you, the world will... So what? If the world gets destroyed, it's none of my damn business. Might even be kind of fun, honestly. <laughs> anyway, Chris, if you want to play pretend with this weirdo, stick around. I'm going to find a way out of here. Susie, wait! Ho ho ho, the heroes are already running away and they didn't even know I was here. My dad's gonna make me son of the month. <laughs> Who the hell are you? I'm... The bad guy. You clowns want to seal our dark fountain, huh? And, still picturing you guys as clowns, save the world from eternal darkness, huh? Eh. Don't try to deny it. We both know you'll go east. It's your only way home. But I, Lancer, won't let you go there. And I've got a flawless two-step plan to ensure it. Step one, I thrash you. Step two, you lose. <laughs> hmm. Nice plan, kid. Really? Yeah, actually. Mind if we use it on you instead? Lancer busts in. Halt, clowns. This bike is fueled by victory. Oh. I don't know how I got an axe, but like, that's cool. <laughs> so I can act as well. Compliment. You tell Lancer you can't tell the difference between his clothes and his body. He seems flattered. His attack power went down. <laughs> 
Oh, you make my feelings do wheelies. Sweet wheelies. Oh my lord. Lance's motorcycle is actually just a bike that's on fire. <laughs> you tell Lancer to watch out for Susie's attack. He readies himself. So what are you guys doing after this? Lancer is thinking about chips. Can I actually spare? Oh yeah, I can spare. Let's compliment him again. You try to compliment Lancer again, but he sees it as insincere. His attack power goes, ah, oh, God damn it. Did you not realize I can mask my self-esteem levels? Wait, wait a second. My bike's running out of fuel. All right, you punkaroos. You had the luck of the draw this time, but next time the losers will be you. Ha ha ha, bye losers. I gotta get home before dinner. <laughs> you won. Got zero XP and 38 DS. Are you two okay? Um, allow me to introduce myself more properly. I am, jeez, can you take off that hood? I can barely hear you under there. Um, all right. Aww. Hello, everyone. I'm Ralsei. Chris, Susie, it's ever so wonderful to meet you. I'm certain we're going to become great friends. And best way to leave is east, right? Yes, that's where we'll... Got it. See you at school, Chris. Um, I suppose it's just the two of us then. Oh, Chris, I'm a prince, but I uh, currently don't have any subjects. Been waiting alone here, um, my whole life, for you two to arrive. So I'm really happy to meet you. I hope we can be good friends, Chris. Let's try to find Susie. She must be to the southeast. You can lead the way, Chris. Okay, I got a friend. Let's go then. Ralsei, the lonely prince, is now your ally. The power of fluffy boys shines within you. <laughs> Power of fluffy boys indeed. Right, well with that, that is going to make the end of the first episode. I hope you enjoyed it. I am really enjoying this so far. If you enjoyed this episode, please don't forget to like, subscribe, leave a comment. It all just helps my content to do better and I really, really appreciate it. Yeah, I will see you in part two, which will be coming very, very shortly. See you in the next episode. Bye.